Hello guys, so to get this look started I'm going to go ahead and conceal my eyelids with the L'Oreal Pro Glow Concealer in the shade 04. Now, as you can see, I've gone ahead and done my brows off camera just because it does save me a bit of time. So if you're interested in an in-depth brow routine, go ahead and leave this video a thumbs up or a comment just so that I know. Um, but as you can see here, I'm going ahead and taking that flat brush and just patting that concealer out just to ensure that there is no creasing when we go in with our shadows. Once everything is all smooth and creaseless, I'm going to be going in with the shade Hunts from the Morphe and Jaclyn Hill palette as our transition. Now I don't set my concealer just because I feel like the shadows pop much more, so when I'm applying the shadow, I first stamp it on to make sure the concealer doesn't slide around or anything like that, then I go in with windshield wiper motions just to blend it out. Now that that hunt shade is blended to my liking, I'm going to go ahead and pop this yellow shade from the Morphe 35B palette. Now you guys, I don't know why they discontinued this palette, but the show must go on. But anyway, as, as I was saying, I just popped this yellow shade right on the edges of where Hunt's is just to get a nice seamless blend. Going back into the Morphe and Jaclyn Hill palette, I'm going to be taking Jax, which is just a reddish shade and which will also be our lid shade, and I'm placing that a little bit lower than where I placed Hunt's and blending it right out. Once I'm done blending the crease shades, I'm going to place Chip, which is just a nice deep brown on my lid, so that when I pack that Jack shade on, it'll stand out more, as you can see here. So as a way to ensure that we have a nice gradient, I'm just going to go back and blend everything out one last time. Using my NYX Vinyl Liquid Liner, I'm just going to do a thin line to hide the lash band. Once I'm done with that, I'm going to go ahead and apply mascara. Now the mascara I'm going to be using today is the CoverGirl Flourish by Lash Blast. And let me tell you, this is probably one of the best mascaras I've ever used in my life. Moving on to lashes, I can't remember the brand or the style, but if I happen to remember, I'll definitely leave it in the description box down below for you guys.
so moving on to the face first I'm gonna go ahead and start by moisturizing my face with the Clinique dramatically different moisturizing gel Next, I'm gonna go ahead and prime with my Too Faced Peachy Primer. I love this primer for my T-zone just because it's where I get the oiliest. Once I'm all prepped and primed, I'm gonna be placing the Makeup Forever Ultra HD Foundation in the shade Y505 all over my face. So what I'm doing here is I'm just using a flat concealer brush in that same foundation shade just to outline my brows just to make sure we don't end up with that whole halo brow thing. Now with this old used and abused beauty blender, I'm going to go ahead and blend all that out. Using the same L'Oreal Pro Glow concealers in the shade 04 and 07, I'm going to start highlighting in the normal places, i.e. under my eyes, cupid's bow, bridge of my nose, and center of my forehead. The reason I use two different shades is because one is too light and one isn't light enough, so by mixing the two it gives me my perfect highlighting shade. Using the Kat Von D Lock It Setting Powder, I'm just going to press it into my skin where I highlighted, then switching over to a big fluffy brush and sweeping the powder all over my face. Once the face is completely set, I'm going to be dipping into the shade Espresso out of the ABH Powder Contour Kit just to contour my cheeks, forehead, and nose. On to my favorite part, using the Fenty Beauty Kilowatt Highlighter in the shade Trophy Wife, I'm just going to highlight my entire face. Now that I'm highlighted to the gods, it's time for blush. I'm going to be using the shades Exotic and Desert out of the ABH Berry Adore Blush Trio. Because what goes up must come down, I'm quickly going to smoke out my under eyes with the same crease shades we used earlier.
Next, I'm taking a black pencil eyeliner and lining my lower lash line. Then, using the same exact mascara we used earlier, I'm just going to go ahead and coat my bottom lashes. Now, to finish this look off, I'm applying my favorite gloss of all time, which is the Fenty Beauty Gloss Bomb. Finally, I'm going to set my face with the Mario Badescu Rose Water Spray just to ensure that I look fresh and glowy all day. Well guys, we reached the end of the video. Hopefully you learned something or maybe just enjoyed. If you did, please leave a like, comment, and if you're feeling really good, go ahead and subscribe. I hope to see you guys in the next one. Bye!